Caroline, let's start with the positives. What do you think today went right for you out there in the match? I won. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most positive, and uh, it's it's great to be through. Um, you know, I was fighting a lot out there, getting a few, quite a lot of balls back, but it's quite windy out there, so it was difficult to play, and uh, definitely uh, the serve was difficult as well, because it wasn't just going one way, the wind, it was going everywhere, so yeah, you had to keep the, the margin over the net and, and from the lines. Karen, could you tell us what the best and worst advice you've ever received from both of your parents? <laughs> uh, best advice, probably just uh, be happy, enjoy, enjoy life. That's from both of your parents, or is it yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, and just uh, if you believe in believe in yourself and uh, and go for for the, your dreams, I think that's pretty much you know all the positives. The worst advice, my brother's in the back. Maybe he can help me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change of subject. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the the worst is. Um, I don't know. This well, I, I guess when you get bad advice, it comes in here, it goes out there. So <laughs> you don't remember. What is the best advice you got from your brother? <laughs> um. You know, he thinks he's so smart all the time, and uh, he thinks he knows everything. Uh, but again, you have to kind of just process the, the things he's saying and, and change a few things maybe sometimes. <laughs> no, but he's, uh, he's it's great, always just saying, um, keep going, keep, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think everyone is pretty similar. I guess uh, when you... Um, I find it very difficult to speak today. <laughs> Put a sentence together. Um, so, uh, yeah. what is the best advice you got from your uh, mysterious new coach? Move your feet. You had some problems with your serve today. You were broken three times and you were, you were on the ropes quite a bit. Uh, what, what was going on with that? Yeah, it was very windy today out there and I... Um, it wasn't just going one way, it was kind of shifting, so um, I found it very difficult to, to place the ball the places I wanted to, so um, quite a few times I was going for the safe serve, but as well, she found it, I think she found it more difficult when I was kicking it a little bit. She, um, she liked it when I was going flat and she could just uh, put the racket on and, and place it, so I was trying to do a bit more, uh, um, put it a bit higher over the net and, and try to get out of her striking zone. What was Vanya doing specifically that maybe like you know that that put you off or, or something? It was there because this was a player you beat pretty handily back at the Australian Open. Was there something that she did different today that that presented a challenge to you? Well, I've had a tough match against her uh, in Indian Wells, and then I had uh, it, even though the score said 0-1 in Australia, we still played quite a quite a a tough match. We had a lot of good rallies out there, but I just ended up winning most of them. But uh, we had a lot of tough games, so I knew it wasn't going to be easy today, and I had to keep my uh, my focus and, and just go in there and, and, and just play for every point. Caroline, in, in Ralph's new book, there's a pretty interesting sections on, on golf where he... In whose book, sorry? In Ralph and Nadal's book. Okay. Where, on golf, where he talks about how it's a fantastic game and you learn so much from it. You have to have discipline, concentration, and... and sort of forget all the problems you had. <coughs> uh, I don't mean to probe and don't, don't tell me anything I shouldn't know, but in, in, in just being around Rory and talking with him, have you picked up anything from sort of the, the travails, the difficulties of, of that game? <coughs> and that, that have well, even though golf and tennis have some similarities, it's also uh, much different, and golf is such a mental game. You're playing against the course, and uh, you're playing with yourself and trying to, to do a good score. And, you know, sometimes you can get into that spiral where you just think, okay, I just can't hit it, hit it right, you know, or I just need to put it in the hole, but it just keeps missing. And, you know, it's, it's so mental. If you stay positive and, and believe in yourself, it's, it makes the game so much easier. So, you know, it's the same, similar in tennis, but you have an opponent as well. 
And you love you love uh, your boxing workouts a, a while ago. What what did you learn from them? Well, boxing is it's great. I get my regressions out, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, it was fun, but it was hard as well. So you get to work your core, your arms, your shoulders. Um, it was a lot of cardio as well, and. Um, you learn how to distribute your, your power as well because the first time I actually went in the ring and, and tried just for fun to fight with someone, I just went all in in the beginning and after two rounds you're dead. So I realized you, you have to wait for your chances. You need to, to wait for the right moment and the same in tennis, you can't just go all in all the time. You need to play the ball and, and then wait for the right chance to go in and, and then attack. And if you could have a knockout punch, uh, would you prefer to give it to a tennis opponent or from or us prying guys in the media? I prefer not to knock out anyone. I'm a nice girl, so <laughs> or I, uh, I like to think so. You've had such an effective coaching relationship with your father. Could you see yourself down the road coaching a child of yours? Or would you not want them to play? Not in tennis. I, I would not uh, see myself being on a tennis court and, and coaching uh, my child. I think that would be too stressful for me, and I don't need to stress. <laughs> I just need to relax, and I would probably want them to play football or any other sport. Just I could sit on the sideline and just enjoy and football keep my soccer, soccer yeah. keep my feet up. <laughs> um, no, but I don't know. I just think I think tennis is a great sport and it's fantastic, and I've had so many good experiences. But uh, yeah, to have my kids playing, I, I don't. Uh, I would just put them and, and give them to a coach or someone who, uh, yeah, who could teach them because I've spent enough hours on court, I think. Caroline, you might get congested in the next round. What do you uh, respect about her game and what, if you were to maybe preview the next round and how you would play her, uh, what, what goes through your mind? To be honest, I haven't thought about how I would play her first. She needs to win her match, but she's a tough competitor. She can play really uh, aggressive and good tennis. Her serve is big and her forehand. and. Um, it's it's not easy. I mean, it's uh, it's a match that um, definitely would would need me to play on my my best. And we've had uh, quite some good matches in the past. And also, I think two years ago, I played her here in the fourth round, night session, and where I was down but came back. And uh, I just remember that was a, a fantastic.